Well, good morning, guys. It is day five of the W Trek tour here in Patagonia. Thank you guys all for watching up until this point. It is a beautiful morning here in Refugio Pain. So here's the deal about today. Uh, we have elected not to go on the trek today. It was supposed to be uh, an eight hour, 22 kilometer trek today uh, up to Glacier Gray and then back down here to the Refugio. But there is some storms coming uh, at some point, uh, generally about, um, about 12 o'clock to one o'clock, which would have put us pretty much at the very top, uh, still having to come all the way back down uh, to the Refugio. And although that I did bring some uh, weatherproof material, uh, not all of it is, so we have elected to, to not go. Um, we're gonna sit here at the Refugio for a little bit, uh, kind of recuperate, uh, eat some good food, uh, and then wait for the catamaran to come pick us up at six o'clock, which will take us across this lake all the way back over we'll catch a bus back to the uh, campground that we started at so <clears throat> so like I said guys I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the vlog from here on out it is absolutely gorgeous out here right now um, we had a beautiful beautiful sunrise this morning with the purples and the oranges and everything that was coming up over the mountains truly one of the better uh, sunrises I've seen in the world so so while we're sitting around doing nothing I uh, figured I'd take a take you guys on a little tour of the refugio pine grand and uh, see what you guys think You want to go to Texas? Yeah? You want to live on a ranch? Oh, there you go. Mm. You want to go to Texas? Good morning, you guys. It is our last and final day here in Puerto Natales. Uh, we got in late last night uh, from the ferry ride or the catamaran ride across the lake to the hour and a half bus ride back to Puerto Natales. 
and then they dropped us directly off at the restaurant to grab some food before we came back to the cabin so late last night was a little bit of a late night uh, but thankfully we we're back in the cabins last night and we got some great sleep uh, we we're able to get back into our uh, normal clothes uh, have a shower get a shave uh, so I'm feeling great again this morning Sad to leave this place, man. This is this is a, a really great place. The views from here are spectacular, and um, but we only have a few more hours until we got to head to the airport to catch a flight back to Santiago. Uh, so we're gonna take a walk down into town, see if we can grab some food, uh, and then we'll be back to the cabins to pack up and uh, head on to Santiago. So I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, watching all this stuff. Um, it's been a pleasure uh, being able to bring it to you guys, uh, kind of every every step along the way. And um, man, I can't can't wait to get back home and sort through all the footage and, and kind of remember all the places that we've been because um, you tend to lose sight of it when you're just trekking the whole day. So but anyway, so we're gonna grab some food and we'll catch you guys back at the cabin. We just got back to the cabin from our little stroll through town. Uh, ended up stopping at a place called Emir India. Uh, Lane had the barbecue sandwich and I had the steak sandwich, which was fantastic. We both enjoyed it really uh, a lot because mostly, I mean, it was good in its own right, but at the same time, uh, the food that we've been getting on the W Trek hasn't been spectacular. So it was nice to have a great meal uh, before we board back to Santiago. So um, I hope you guys have all enjoyed this. I'm gonna go back inside uh, where it's a little bit warmer and uh, pack up and then uh, we'll be on a flight back to Santiago uh, where we'll pick back up uh, with a little bit of filming from there. But with that being said, I'm gonna go back inside, pack up and uh, catch you guys in Santiago. <laughs> 